All right, hello again. So before we get into, I'm just gonna go over some of the power tools um, and the metal. And I'm at my home shop now, not at school, um, so you'll notice some differences, but it's pretty much the same kind of stuff. Um, but I wanna go over some safety stuff first. So first, let's talk about your eyes. Here's a variety of different types of safety. There's some safety glasses. Um, this pair is designed to fit over your prescription glasses. Remember, prescription glasses, unless they are rated as safety glasses with side shields, are not actually safety glasses. These pair are smaller, they fit on um, people, you know, something that's more comfortable. Sometimes people find these a little loose. Then you have larger goggles. This pair is a little old and dirty, but anyway. Um, and then you also have a face shield. Safety glasses protect, safety glasses protect your eyes. The face shield is more about protecting your face. So don't use this and not use these. So these are worn in combination. The nice, the thing that where face shields come in handy are when you're working with um, grinding discs and cutting discs on tools um, that sometimes can come free. Um, so they'll prevent it from um, you getting hit in the face with that. Um, over here, we have a couple of different types of dust masks and respirators. Um, it's a typical kind we have in, in the shop, an 80, uh, 3M 8210. Um, and then this one's a little bit more comfortable to wear. Although this is not terribly good for social distancing because this sprays out more with your breathing. Um, and then this one's in a plastic bag. So my personal respirator I have at home. Um, it has removable cartridges, can be used with a variety of different things um, like organic vapors. So it can go beyond um, just being particle. But you do want to make sure uh, that you update the cartridges. Um, these pink things are removable and there's different styles and stuff for different types of things. And you wanna make sure it fits you well. Um, so if you end up purchasing one of those, read the directions, make sure you're using it properly. Otherwise, you're wasting time. Then over here, we have um, some ear protection. Um, these little things that fit in your ears, um, your plugs, and also the kind of these earmuff kind that are kicking around school too. Um, either one works. Sometimes people wear them in combination. We have some gloves. So the one thing about gloves is they can be kind of tricky. They're good for sparks, and heat, and sharp edges. Um, but you want to keep them away from things where they're pinch points, like on a bench grinder or a belt sander, where they can get caught in and pull your hand in. So you also want to make sure they fit you well. If they're loose and floppy, they're more likely to get caught in things. And also remember, they are not indestructible. They do not, um, you know, a blade will go through them, a grinding wheel will go through them. Um, so don't treat them like you're making your hands in indestructible. All right? Also, aside from the other safety, you know, the safety glasses and the gloves and the facial, I, I leather apron because I like, you don't necessarily have to have it. Um, <clears throat> but a pair of either jeans or canvas pants, um, not shorts, um, and shoes that have heels and to or toes are covered, both of those, these are boots. Those are nice leather boots are good to wear, um, but as long as your foot's covered. Um, and then when I get into uh, welding to protect arms, talk about later, um, a, a kind of flame retardant, this is a flame retardant cotton, the ones we have at school are green. Um, anyway, possum lodge tag on it. Anyway, badge on it. Um, so make sure you come to school dressed and ready to work. 